welcome back to a Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be going on a solo hazard 5 mission with Driller here, taking the Cryo Cannon as the primary weapon with the Unstable Overclock Ice Storm, and the Colette Wave Cooker with the Voted On Overclock and Unstable Overclock Blistering Necrosis. Before I get into how I have the guns built, YouTube is recommending my content to you. If you just found my channel out of the blue, like the content I make, maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it, help the channel grow, and I'd like to have you guys along for the ride. All right. So, like I said, I have the cryo cannon here for the primary. I have a belt is I have more magazine size in tier one. I have more total ammo in tier two, faster rate of fire in tier three, more total damage in tier uh, four, and cold radiance in tier five, the overclock that we have today, Ice Storm. Essentially what Ice Storm does is it gives you a massive damage boost when enemies are frozen, basically doubling the damage that you have onto are doubling the base damage on the gun that you have. But at the cost, you have less ammo, less freezing power, and you have faster loss of chamber pressure. And then for the secondary, like I said, I have the call out wave cooker here. I have built is a tier one, I have more total ammo. Tier two, I have better cooling. I have slow down ray in tier three. I have a better rate of fire lens in tier four. And then I have the, uh, the neurotoxin transmitter in tier five. Then for the overclock today, we have the Blistering Necrosis. Essentially what Blistering Necrosis does is it has a chance to spawn a blister-like spore onto any of the bugs that you hit, acting as its own weak point, giving 1.5 times bonus damage. But the blister itself has only 40 health, and once the blister is gone, it explodes and does 80 poison damage in a 0.1 meter radius. So it does a, a, the smallest bit of AoE damage. <laughs> So that's pretty interesting. At the cost though, there, you have more heat generated per shot and you have a decrease in cooling rate. For my satchel charges here today, I have more total ammo, tier one and three. I have the kill switch in tier two. And then I have fear in tier four. All right, my drills built today is I have, I have both drilling speed in tier one and three, better cooling in tier four, and I have more total ammo in tier four. And then for the grenades today, I'm bringing the impact axes and then barrel. All revised cargo and electric bullets. Alrighty. Oh, honestly, I really don't know. Oh, double XP. Hmm. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> double XP. Oh, double XP lithophage. Hmm. That one's even more interesting. <laughs> we'll do eggs. You know what? We'll do eggs. How many contagion spikes? That's just my question. That'll be. Oh, only one. Cool. Someone was saying that you could potentially. Be dealing more damage than what you think you're doing with the, the blister necrosis because blister necrosis acts like its own hitbox um that's on top of the creature and it's not acting as like at the same hitbox so you can potentially deal a lot more damage with the blisters stacked on top of the bug which is that's a pretty cool thought where did that nitro go okay there it is <laughs> i was like i swear i saw that nitro here hold on let's try it uh, let's see. Oh! <laughs> That's another thing that I, I read too. Hold on. Oh, there he goes. Where'd that, where'd that boy go? No, let me hit you! <laughs> Damn it! Come back here with those blisters on you. Do the blisters go away after a while or do they stay? Oh lord. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. That's, that's another thing I read on the wiki, was that sometimes wherever you place the, the spore on the the bug, it, de it depends on where you put, place the spores, but um, you could potentially you could potentially put it in a spot where they'll just like inflict self-harm to each other and they'll just like kill, kill themselves, essentially, is what I read. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it's so much fun so far though. I wonder how it would do on... I wonder how it would do on against Dreadnoughts. That's probably a question everyone's asked, is how it's done against Dreadnoughts. The answer is probably it's really good. Because <laughs> I don't remember reading anything about where it doesn't take extra effect against the Dreadnoughts. So, who knows. Maybe I could be wrong though. Maybe they could have patched that out when they added it. Uh, I only ever remember using Blister Necrosis, like once and it was pretty fun when I used it but uh, I don't know the type of build I have here today is it's like a slowing build 
so I can like apply the blisters more on the bugs. Oh God. <laughs> Die. <laughs> and then I brought a full damage uh, ice storm with me today, so I can just shred through the bugs. <laughs> oh, there's a lithophage. Oh, yep, there he is. I heard him. Ah, help me, Bosco. This is a lot less damage than what that one other hazard level was earlier. <laughs> earlier, me and my friend were playing on hazard seven. Ooh, that was not fun. You know, if you can hit the, the blisters with the call it wave quicker, you actually can do some major damage, actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, it just shreds. <laughs> that just shreds so hard, dude. Alrighty, hold on. I need to get more night shredders. Oh god. Oh god. There's multiple. Oh god. Spawning. Oh god, get him. <laughs> get him. Kill, kill him with the, the blisters. <laughs> People. I put blisters on him. Oh my god, that just wrecks. Holy crap, dude. Alright. Uh, uh oh. I don't think I want to be stepping on that stuff anymore. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> and. Oh. Okay, I forgot Bosco can go get it. <laughs> Thanks. There's a lot more Nitra. Yeah, I'm almost out of ammo, I just realized. <laughs> uh, that's just what happens when you're playing as Driller. And you're having fun. Huh? What? Sorry. What was that? Mm. Mm, big ol' swarm is approaching. Yeah, that is a lot of damage, actually. Oh. I don't have damage. Oh, meatball. Ooh, ah, damn it. I'm gonna save the, the iron will. Dang it, though. Dang it. Real quick. Okay, <laughs> hey, hold on. Let me just. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that does do quite a bit of damage. No lie. Oh lord, I just wrecked him. <laughs> Feels so bad. Hello. You die. You die. Gosh, that just wrecks, dude. Oh my god. I'm sorry if my commentary is very like the same right now, but oh my god, this is just so surprising to me. Oh, wow. Alright. Yeah, this might just be another one of my most favorites to use. Yes. Yes, buddy. <laughs> the health just gone. Okay. And there's the last one right there. Yep. Alright, well, this might have just become one of my new favorite overclocks. Oh, there's a detonator. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Oh, I'm out of ammo, huh? Interesting. Well... Hello. Uh, I'll, let, I'll let Bosco... I need to get a full respawn anyways. Okay. Well... That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I let, I let the detonator do that. Can I get a resupply now, please? Thank you. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, yeah. I was gonna say, I need to stop being stupid. Okay, there's a detonator there. Come on, Fang. Just run. <laughs> oh, I wrecked him. Hold on, let me just, let me just, hold on. There we go, there we go. Yeah, hold on, let me just put, put more spores on you real quick. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put more spores on you, hold on. What's wrong, detonator? Don't like that? Don't like all the spores that have been put on you? Yeah, I didn't like the fact that you were killing me, so... <laughs> Alright, that's what I get for being cocky. <laughs> that's what I get.
bei... <laughs> yeah, that just... Yeah, goodbye, Praetorian. Thank. Oh, here comes the meatball. <laughs> and there goes the meatball. <laughs> Worst pinball game ever. <laughs> oh my god. That poor oppressor. Alright. Boop. And boop. Alrighty. <laughs> hey, 70 minutes. Not bad. Alright, drill time. Time to drill. Oh god. Earthquake. Ah. Just let me get up. Just let, let me go. Oh god, they're coming. <laughs> go. Go, get up. <laughs> That's Dave. Sorry, I can't get you. The driller's not allowed to have Steve's. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying to watch, actually. <laughs> Rocket Stone, hell yeah. Alright, nice. Alright, what's my final score? <laughs> nice. 240, and I got all four downs. <laughs> Alrighty, this was a really really fun build today. Ice Storm, I really do enjoy on the Cryo Cannon a whole lot. Oh man, the Ice Storm Cryo Cannon build that I brought here today, full damage, is definitely one of my most favorites with the Cryo Cannon. You can also bring, uh, or definitely my, my most favorites with Ice Storm. You can also uh, take full range with the Ice Storm as well, and that, that one's really really good too. But the main star today was the blistering necrosis. Oh my god. Blistering necrosis is so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was just shredding Praetorians and oppressors. And I don't know how well it really did against the detonator, but I mean, we had a bit of a bumpy ride at the end there, but <laughs> we managed to make it out with our limbs still attached. So <laughs> yeah, no, this was definitely a really fun build today. Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate anyone who stuck to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Rock and stone miners.